Hi YouTube, um, I was just going to do another um, video about my uh, pet armadillo, Herbie. Um, so here it is. Um, I pasted another video up so you, you can um, check out the first one that I did where I kind of talk about um, his food and what he's got to eat every kind of night. Um, but I just wanted to kind of tell you a few more facts about him really. Um, so, in the wild, he comes from Brazil, um, and it's actually northeastern Brazil, uh, which is just south of the equator. Um, oh, here he is. Uh, he's very affectionate. I mentioned all of this in the other video. He loves kind of uh, having his head rubbed and things, and um, I spend quite a lot of time each evening kind of playing with him, and uh, he seems to like it. Um, they're not definitely not a beginner species. I mean, I only kind of ventured into keeping him because I kept so many other animals. I said this in my other video that I've been keeping things now for about 30 years um, and breeding them as well. So what I try and do is whenever I keep animals, I try and get at least a pair of them. So I'm still after a female for him. Um, and then I try to breed them because I always feel that if you can breed your animals in captivity then you're doing something right and they're happy <laughs> so oh, here he is so I definitely want to get him a girlfriend at some point um, okay the first thing I noticed like when I went to kind of pick him up when he was a baby um, was how heavy he was like you don't realise that like all of these scales and things um, weigh quite a lot. So when I pick him up like that, um, he is quite heavy. This is fully grown, by the way. He's not going to get any bigger than this. Um, and at this size, he weighs about 1.6 kilograms. So pretty, pretty heavy for an animal that's this small. Um, the other thing I noticed when I went to pick him up. Um, the guy showed him to me and uh, he put him down on the floor and let him walk about and um, because they have this sort of like frilly edge you know with um, all the fur kind of sticking out when they when they walk like this across a flat surface they almost kind of look like they're gliding because of the way their their legs move uh, underneath that kind of like um, skirt of hair so they're very amusing animals <laughs> and uh, I just love the fact that they can roll like completely into a ball as well and you know the typical armadillo that you think of the nine banded armadillo um, can't do that can't roll into a ball so this this has always been like well for quite a long time has been my favorite uh, animal on the planet so and you know, I think it always will be. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one was um, captive bred in 2017. Um, so he's three, three and a half years old now. Um, yeah, buddy. They can live to be like 36 years old. So he's got a long way to go, hopefully, I, if I look after him really well, which I plan to. He's very spoiled. Um, but yeah, like I say, they're not a beginner species because, just simply because they need um, care like every day. Like he has to be fed in the morning, like with his mealworms, and then in, again in the evening with his kind of um, bowl of like mixed food like that. Um, so it does take quite a lot of um, work, and then obviously I have to feed out, I have to clean out this uh, enclosure um, once a week make sure he has fresh kind of um, straw in there, well he has uh, Timothy hay um, and yeah you, you just have to make sure that he's got the right temperature all the time so everything's got to be on thermostat um, all the lights have got to be on timer switches um, so yeah it's not something you should ever go out and rush into buying you need to do quite a lot of research first Hey buddy. But yeah, I said in my other video I was surprised how kind of affectionate he was when I first got him. You know, he wants, he's curious and he wants to be where I am 
all the time. So he comes out of this enclosure, obviously, you know, all the time, and and into our kind of living room, walks around on the floor, and has sort of free run of the place for a while. Um, but what I've noticed when he does that, if I'm in the room, he just will be with me, like wherever I go. You put him down, he'll sort of walk away from you and then like go in a circle and come straight back to you. He just likes um, having his head rubbed all the time and the, the back of his neck. Hey buddy. Hello. Um, one thing I didn't mention on the other video, um, it's quite a sort of interesting fact, is that um, male armadillos have uh, really big genitalia. <laughs> um, yeah, really massive. So I actually am a sculptor as well, and um, one of my other videos I've done is uh, it shows the one of these that I've made, um, and I've actually sculpted it uh, using like sort of modelling materials. Um, I use this stuff called milliput, which is like a sort of uh, air drying putty. And I had to make, you know, all these kind of scales and things. It took me a long time to do it. Um, but uh, on, on the one that I sculpted, I left out the genitalia because uh, I didn't think it was appropriate. So the one that I sculpted can be a female instead. <laughs> hey buddy. Come on then. So if I turn him over like this, you can see it all there, all coiled up. <laughs> there you go. Hello, buddy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh. Okay, um, so yeah, I, I'm bound to put more and more videos of him up uh, as time goes on because he's he's so lovely and I, I think he'll be quite popular. Um, I keep lots of other animals as well. I've got you know loads of reptiles and amphibians and invertebrates and that sort of thing, other small mammals. So I'll probably post up videos of those as well. But I have a feeling that um, Herbie will probably be the most popular. Um, yeah, I, I breed things as well, like mostly sort of geckos and things, and um, I've got blood pythons as well, that sort of thing. So check out my other videos if you uh, are interested in this sort of thing. Also, my other videos are about kind of like collecting 80s toys, so if you're into that sort of thing, have a look. Um, and I've got a lot of kind of general um, collections of things as well, like natural history items, um, yeah, entomology, sort of pinned specimens of um, insects and beetles and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, loads of natural objects like fossils, minerals, seed pods, um, all that kind of thing. And I plan to post videos of all this sort of thing um, in the coming weeks and just every time I get new stuff, really. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Hi for now. <laughs>